In 75, 76, New York, there was a very cool disco culture. Before there was ever a Saturday Night Fever, Robert said, this is a hundred million dollar movie. Robert was the agent for the Who, Cream, and the Bee Gees. He understood music and could see beyond a hit record. This was a chance to build his empire. Robert is transitioning into producing movies. They signed John Travolta to a three-picture deal, but we didn't have any pictures to support it. Robert was pitching this little disco movie. Robert did not know how it would be cast. He didn't know what the script would be. He just knew a fabulous story, which had global appeal, was right there. And Robert saw the soundtrack as being the killer ingredient. This studio wasn't interested in soundtracks. The album has sold more than 10 million copies. Paramount never had a piece of the album. I had no idea what we had. I didn't even know it was a musical. I don't think anybody foresaw the phenomenon of this movie other than Robert Stigwin and John Travolta. One of Robert's great achievements is to wake up the synergy between records and film.